but we almost overran him there in the middle of the game. But here we go. My goodness. No way. No way. I think that... <laughs> no way. We're playing hams. Are you kidding me, dog? Gotta go now. Gotta go. Swerving in my wicked slow down. Driving fast to cars. Boy, I'm on the road now. Automatic star. My vid take a call. Hey, what is up, guys? And welcome back to the Recession Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, we're going to be having a look at a very unique Dark Prince Miner combination chip deck that actually beat me in my late season ladder pushing, and I found this deck very, very interesting. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Let's get right into today's video. So check this deck out, guys. 3.4 Elixir. We've got the Knight in here because the Knight is one of the best cards in the game right now. We have the Tombstone to help us distract troops, distract the Hog Rider, Royal Giants, things like that. And the skeletons coming out on defense can be really, really useful at times. Our two spells are the fireball and the zap. And then, of course, we have the ice wizard in here because he slows down troops and helps us defeat those big, big pushes. So let's hop right into some grand challenge matches with this deck and see if we can pick up some nice Ws, guys. So here we go. In the first battle up against Zana, we've got the Dark Prince, Ice Wizard, Executioner, and the Fireball here in our starting hand. And he's going to come in hot. So it looks like our best move is to go with the Dark Prince. In this situation, a Tornado would be so, so good to get that King Tower activated. And it takes the Hawkeye to actually get three shots off onto our tower. So we're going to see, guys, if this deck is actually really good. Or if it's just a joke and I just I just sucked and lost it for no reason. But here we go, playing the Executioner on defense. We've got this down. This is going to take care of the bats. Take care of most of this push, to be honest. We're going to drop off a Tombstone to help us defend against this Battle Ram. And this is why this deck is so good, guys. We have the Executioner doing a great job. And now it's time for us to go in for a counter push. I'm going to play my Miner right here on the inside tile to try and distract anything he decides to play. Executioner will not get locked onto the tower due to that baby dragon. So fair play on his part so far. We do have the Ice Wizard, so if we need to play, we can play that. But it looks like we're going to be all good here. Executioner will go down, though. And now we're going to go Ice Wizard and Dark Prince. And this is where this deck is going to come in very, very strong. The, Dark, the Hog Rider will still probably get, like... Is it only going to get one? Hog Rider will only get one shot off onto the tower. But now we have an aggressive push going here with the Knight, with the Dark Prince, with the Ice Wizard. Zap is ready for any of his supporting cards. Fireball is also ready to go. Let's just drop this off right over here, guys. Fireball going down. The Ewis should die. Yes, it's going to go down. And look at the Dark Prince getting charged off onto this tower here. Ice Wizard is also locked onto the tower. Zap is in hand and ready to go. But we're getting so, so much damage. So much damage due to this, done onto this tower right now. I'm losing my words right here, boys. But now it's time for us to play an Executioner right in front of our tower to keep all the troops in front. We're going to take care of the bats. We're going to take care of the Night Witch. And this is why the Executioner is just so good. Even without the Tornado, he is very deadly, guys. And what we're going to do here now is get a Miner once again to this inside tile and see what he's all about. Miner's going to get some chip damage off. He's probably going to play, yep, the Baby Dragon. Executioner is going to do a decent job at cleaning that up. But here we go, guys. Do we need to play? No, we don't. That battle ram is gonna go down and check it out. Executioner is actually gonna clean it all up. Didn't even need to play that hog or that. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go tombstone over here, and there we go. That's gonna distract the hog So that's why we don't need the tornado. The tornado in this deck. We've got the ice wizard. We've got the tombstone. We've got all these great cards. So now we can go back in. Yep. Well played on my part. Now we can go back in. That was just a great fireball. Predicting that we were gonna stack two there. Dark Prince will actually get a dash off right there onto the E wing, and that's gonna be tower number one, guys. Just like that. So now it's time for us to start. Uh, do we want to play defense? I kind of want to play defense, so let's go with a knight over here, and we're going to go with our ice wizard, and then get ready with the tombstone, because we know the hog rider is actually going to come on the other side, so tombstone going down over here to defend against that, the skeletons are going to come out and take it all down, he's going to pre-arrow though, so fair play to him, and now it's time for us to get this dark prince to get a charge off on the hog rider, baby dragon is still at the bridge, being kind of annoying, but we're going to drop off a miner over here, and hopefully, nope, we're not going to distract him, we're just going in, we're going too far in to be honest, all we really have to do is just chill out and play some defense. So Ice Wizard going down in front of the tower. We've got the Tombstone ready to distract the Hog Rider once again. Because now he has a pretty nasty push coming over here. But guys, with 8 seconds left, that's just not going to be enough. We're going to play this over here. Get our Fireball ready for the Hog Rider, for the Battle Ram. That's going to go down right over here. Take it all out. And we're going to pick up the very, very first W of the day. So I'm starting to see why this deck works even without the Tornado. And probably the main reason why he doesn't have it, like I said, is so that we can have the Fireball and Zap for those three Musketeers. Because that is the most popular deck right now in the grand challenge series for sure so into the second game guys up against laps pack from the practice we've got the tombstone executioner minor and zap here in our starting hand so let's see if he comes on offense we might go tombstone he's just gonna go in with an ice spirit uh-oh guys to be honest this is not good i think this is gonna be log bait i don't know if we can handle log bait we only have our zap in this deck and just like that tower is already down to 1803 so this might be a tough match for sure that's log bait guys we do have minor we do have Miner, but you don't want to play the Miner because it's going to get swarmed up by the uh, by the Goblin Gang. 
and then we're gonna really be in trouble after that. So there's the Goblin Gang that I was talking about. But let's see if he doesn't if he doesn't back this up, we're gonna be okay. So we're gonna go with the Knight over here. And let's see if that forces out his Infernal Tower. Nope, no Infernal Tower coming out. Instead, he will he will protect that princess. So I'm gonna go with a Dark Prince over here. And an Executioner at the back of the tower. And see if we can catch it all, guys. Hopefully, it's all of it, guys. Executioner gonna go try his best. But Log Bay looks like it's gonna be a very, very tough matchup. We're gonna have to try and get our Miner Chip in on this tower as best as possible. But if we play our Miner, we don't have any direct counters for the Princess, guys. So what a matchup. What a matchup. He's actually gonna throw in a Log right there onto the tower. Executioner is gonna go down to that Infernal Tower. Luckily for us, though, we finally get a little bit of luck. We got the Executioner getting shot off onto the tower there. So it looks like Log Bait is definitely difficult so let's see here guys there he goes with the princess we're gonna push ice on the other side and let's see he's probably gonna play yep you know what i could do i could predict these golem barrels with the dark prince but that's a uh, risky maneuvers for sure so let's see we've got a pretty decent push going back on the other side now ice wizard is gonna take care of that let's play a miner on the inside here so we can take care of this nice and early, and then we're going to go ahead and zap this down, try and keep everything alive. Dark Prince will stay alive, guys, and it looks like we did a little bit of work with that zap there. Log is going to push it all back. Hopefully, the Knight gets a couple of swings off onto that tower, and it looks like we're not even going to get there, guys. So Log Bait is a direct counter to this deck. I didn't see it. I didn't see this coming. Definitely did not see this coming, but it makes perfect sense, guys. We might have to start fireballing these down in a second, and here we go. We still have not done anything to that tower over there, so my word, boys. We got to go in on offense, so let's just hope and pray that we can get in through here. We're going to go with a Miner over here for the Infernal Tower. And it looks like the Miner is going to come out just in time, guys. We're going to zap this down. And it looks like we've got a pretty decent push. That tower is gone. So now it's time for our Knight to get in here. We're going to go ahead and force in another Knight. See if we can get some chip damage going, even with the Goblin Gang and all that. We are actually overwhelming him in double elixir time, guys. So it's looking pretty good. Let's force in. Nope, the Dark Prince is probably a bad idea. Let's just go with some Miner Chip on the tower at this point. And he's got Double Princess coming up here. And we're going to go with an Ice Wizard on the right. Executioner is actually locked on the tower, guys. Dark Prince trying to get his charge on. Not going to get all the way in there. He is going to get a direct hit onto that tower, actually. So now it's time for us to fireball this down. We can't take any shots from this Goblin Barrel, guys. That's going to go down there. And now we are defending. We're going to get down another Tombstone in the center. And whoo! We're starting to bring this game back. We have to win this game right here, guys. We've got this. I don't like losing a log bait, but of course, yep, here that comes. And we're going to go with a knight. Let's go with a dark print. Uh, Miner definitely has to be on the tower here. Otherwise, we're going to lose. So we're going to go here. We're going to get our zap ready for the goblin gang, guys. And see if that wins us the game. Let's get our zap ready. He's going to play that. We're going to zap it down because I don't think we have much of a choice. Oh, my goodness, guys. 269. Is that fireball? Nope. No! No! What a close game! We had him there. We overwhelmed him for sure in the middle of that game, but we just could not get it, man. 40 more HP on that tower, and we would have had that W, but we took an unfortunate loss. So let's hop right into another battle and see if we can pick up a W. Logbait is a little bit difficult, but we almost overran him there in the middle of the game. But here we go. My goodness. No way. No way. I think that... <laughs> no way. We're playing hams? Are you kidding me, dog? Not while I'm trying decks. Not while I'm trying decks. This is not going to be good. He is running log bait too. Of course, man. Of course. Okay, so we're going to have to play this well. We're going to start fireballing the... Um, we're going to start fireballing the barrels a lot earlier. Come on, Hamsh. What you got there, my man? You do not have log bait. No, sir, you do not. So we're going to go and drop up a fireball. Take care of the horde. Dark Prince will get a dash off. So he's running giant double minion minor beatdown. For sure, guys. For sure. So the miner's is going to get a lot of chip damage up on that tower. Ice Wizard is going down over here to defend. And since he doesn't, I don't, what does this deck have? Musketeer? I think we can go on offense, guys. So let's go with the knight and then get ready for the musky. Where's your musketeer, Hamsh? Giant. Oh, man. This is going to be rough. This is definitely going to be rough. He has Night Witch beat down. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Knight's going to do a little bit of cheap damage, though. We've got the Executioner in the back. And my word, why are we playing this man in the middle of my video? I'm going to have to have a talk. I'm going to have to have a serious talk with our boy Hamsh after this one, guys. And it looks like he's going to play a nice little Miner. A little bit late, though, so that's unfortunate for him. But for some reason, our Executioner decided to retarget there. Uh, good fireball. Oh, Executioner. Oh, Executioner is still going to get hit. Miner is not Miner. What am I, I'm getting all my troops mixed up. Let's go ahead and get the Miner off onto the tower, though. I get a knight down in front and see if we can get some hits off. He's going to play the goblin gang in the back, guys. But Zap going down. We've got a big connection off onto his tower. And we're going to take it down just like that, boys. Executioner, please turn around. Nope, he's not going to take down the minions for us. So now he's going to probably play the giant minion push there on the right side. And here we go, guys. And double elixir is going to be rough. So I think I want to defend for the rest of the game. Don't want to go on on offense. I'll take my chip damage. I'll take the shots as the game goes on. But we have to win right now. Okay. Whoo. Talk about nervous, huh? Talk about nervous. We're going to go Tombstone over here. 
And then we're gonna go, we need, a, we need to get our knight down in front of all this, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble, guys. We can't fireball for no reason because we have to be aware of the, uh, the minion horde. So let's go Ice Wizard, he's gonna bring in a fireball anyways, well played. But his fireball is gonna move it all to the side, so that's kind of unfortunate for him, guys. We're gonna defend, gonna defend really well here now. Let's go with a Dark Prince to take care of the Night Witch. Yup, that's gonna be solid. We are taking care of the Giant now, I'm just like all over the place. I really have to focus because Hampshire's a good player, guys. So Tombstone going down in again, 30 seconds is all we need to do to defend against this push. So we're gonna play another Deep Executioner in the back. This time he's not gonna make the same mistake of messing up that fireball. So we have to get our knight ready to defend as ASAP. ASAP, guys, it looks like we're taking it all down. He's going to bring in the knight finally. Fireball coming in. Kind of short, to be honest, guys. And it looks like we're actually going to stop that giant there. So this deck absolutely shreds those big pushes. So let's get down a Dark Prince down. Go in on offense. Try and get a second crown over here. He's going to hit us with a well played. I don't know if this is the real hand. I think it is, to be honest. If his personal best is over 5k, it's him. And we just beat a very, very solid deck. So that's what I'd like to see, guys. Pick it up a W against our fellow Nova creative teammate. And I'm going to check this out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Who just who's requested again here? Yusef wants to join the clan because he's a good player. <laughs> Come on in, bud. Is that the real Hanch? It's the real Hanch. 5.8k. Oh, my goodness. We got him. We got him. That's what I like to hear, guys. So that's going to wrap up today's video. Here's the deck for you guys once again. Dark Prince Minor Chip deck. We were able to pick up a W against uh, some pretty good decks, right? Giant Double Witch Beatdown and Hog Rider Battle Ram. But we had a really, really close loss to Log Bait. So if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale content. I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace! This is exclusive. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. All the way up. All the way up.